All right, so let's jump into this look, why don't you? Um, I already had highlighted my face. I think I caught that on camera with my Raftobian Warm Palette. And I did my brows and um, I put my little blushy blush on. I like my blush like right on my cheeks because I just like how it looks like when I smile. Um, and then I did not use a cream contour. I just used a powder by uh, Bare Minerals and Truffle and just kind of um, contoured using the powder because, child, I was tired. I didn't want to do nothing else. So I wanted to talk to y'all about blending brushes real fast because sometimes I say stuff and I'm like, I don't think that was you know really explanatory but okay when you have blending brushes they come in different like densities and densities just mean like how thick it is and like how compact it is and how like much it'll move when you need it to move like this one you guys saw that i used to um do my highlight underneath my eye and you see how like don't mind my nails i'm in the middle of taking them off you see how thick it is and like it's not really movable or anything this one is really compact and then this one you see how like it moves just a little bit more and then this one by Delium tools that i always use is really fluffy and you can really move it like the bristles are really long and it's really really fluffy so these help when you are either using um, creams or when you're using powders because the fluffier the brush is the more blown out it looks or diffused it looks and it helps you to blend a lot better when the brushes are very dense it will help you pack the color on but it won't help you to blend that color out like you would want it to so even if like you were to use like one of these two brushes and you're like putting the product on you will see like even when you put it on up against your skin, like how it doesn't really move that much and it's not that fluffy. So that means that it's going to be a harder time for you to actually blend that product in. I mean, not in, but blend it out. Like if you want it to be kind of fanned out um, with this one, like as you can see, like how movable it is. So it's really helpful for you to just kind of get in there and do what you got to do. Sometimes when people do blend out, they might, you might see them use one brush to put the color on and then another brush to blend it out because it's just easier that way. And sometimes um, one brush can't do everything basically. Or even like you'll see me put the product, like the concealer on the face with a brush, but I'll still go back through with a um, cosmetic cosmetic wedge and still like blend out basically so yeah I just wanted to share that with you guys because I'm like oh you know what I should show them since I got these brushes like right together right at the same time yeah we, I was gonna show for this look I'm going to be using the Bobbi Brown chocolate and gold eye paint palette this my mama's and I'm gonna use it because she don't ever use her stuff so the colors look like this ain't they cutie 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 so I'm gonna be using this color right here for my eyelid and i'm also going to be using the uh Too faced chocolate bar palette so let's get into this look because i know y'all like come on lady and you wait paul i'm going to be using my really fluffy 785 bdellium tools brush and i'm going to be dipping it into the shade peanut butter and the Too faced palette and i'm going to be putting that in my crease and no, I did not conceal my brows underneath because I don't know. Well, my eyebrows are not done. So I was like, Ugh, I don't like how that looks. And plus I was like, well, you know what? This look don't really call for that to be all sculpted out. So I didn't do it. I think it's cool to know what kinds of um, brows need to be done for a certain look because it helps you to complete the look like I don't care what nobody say when you um do makeup it's really important to know what kinds of brows go with what looks or what would complement the brow oh I'm going in truffle underneath that but um like knowing like what really complements the look because every um makeup look doesn't call for you to have your brows super sculpted or super bushy or you know that's what make the look is the brows and the lashes sometimes sometimes you can get away this color that I showed you guys and I'm using a packing brush to pack this on Now, this color is coming out a lot more charcoal than what I thought it was going to look. thought it was going to be bronzy. My hand's ashy. I'm missing nails. What is going on? Okay. So what I am doing that I'm not telling y'all because I forgot I'm moving so fast. I'm taking a little bit of this and then I'm going back in here with this and just kind of going back and forth with it. Just to kind of give it like a pretty gradient effect.
favorite, I mean favorite, eyeliner by Urban Decay Perversion. When I make it big and they give me like a PR package, oh, they put lots of these in there. Take 57. Look, I did use for my lips, I did use Bite Little Stick and I think the color is called Glace. And um, over top of it, I use a Smashbox lip gloss in the color Caroline. I don't have my glasses on, so y'all, I'm squinting like a mug. Anyways, um, and for my lashes, I did use a Ardell Mega Volume Lash in 253. And I think they are amazing. Like, you see all that volume? Like, these are beautiful. I love, 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 love lashes like this. Like, this is my go-to lash all the time, no matter what the brand is, no matter what the price point is. I love lashes like this, and they feel really soft, and the band is really thick, so it's like, you could be able to reuse them, and they're really flexible. They kind of remind me of the Vegas Nay lashes that she did with Eyelore, as far as, like, the band and, like, how they're structured. They're really pretty. Um, the specs on the foundation. I love the foundation. Um, as y'all can see, it covered up really, really well. I did not have to use any concealer to spot correct anything um i did use this foundation with graftobian as far as like i used my graftobian warm palette to conceal not to conceal but to highlight the center of my face and it worked really really well like it did not separate on me because you know sometimes when you try to mesh two different products sometimes you do run into the um to the problem of it actually separating on you or starting to flake um i don't know what the wear time is on this foundation because y'all I ain't going nowhere today, so I don't know how it's going to act, but I will definitely be back for a later review just to see like how it holds up in different temperatures. Um, people have been saying that it feels like there's nothing on your face. Um, I'm here to tell you that that's partly true. Like you can tell there's something on your face, but it doesn't feel like there's absolutely nothing there. It's still lightweight. Don't get me wrong because she did not lie about that. It is very lightweight, especially for the coverage that it's providing and the consistency. It's still very lightweight. It's just, you can tell, it just kind of feels like, um, you know, when you moisturize your face and you feel like, oh, okay, I feel moisturized. That's how I feel. That's the best way I can kind of describe it. Um, I really like it because um, it's really helpful for people that have a lot of hyperpigmentation, as do I, or like just discoloration that you're trying to even out. That's the um, best part about it. What I will say, though, is I will say that if I were you, I would order the sample sizes from Camera Ready Cosmetics to see what your shade is and to see if you actually do have to mix a couple just to get your exact shade. Um... I did recently read, a lot of people did say that the whole idea of her brand was to get artists to be able to mix and to be able to customize shades versus just using one for one person or, you know what I'm saying, like she wanted you to be able to customize your shades for your clients. So I think that's why it is that way. Um, I also will say that um, if y'all haven't heard it already, her warms are really warm and her neutrals, they do tend to look a little bit darker. So for me, I mixed a warm shade and two neutral shades the warm shade was like my ideal shade but too warm and then the neutral shade that I had mixed was lighter than myself and then the other neutral shade was like slightly my tone but might be a little bit darker just a little 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 bit um, and then I mixed them together, but I eyeballed it. I just like, as I were, was mixing the shades, like I just kept adding just a little bit at a time on my hand, or even if you have like a palette, just add a little bit at a time until you get that shade. And then once you put it on, then you'll get it. And I also think that as a makeup artist, that makes it look so good for you and for your client to actually show your client, like, I care about you, I care about your complexion, and I care that it's going to be spot on. I care about that. And it makes people feel special, like, I got on a custom shade. Uh, you know, it makes you feel good that... It's custom. It's made exactly for you. There's nobody out there that's going to have um, NC45. It's just not. And as we all know as well, like when you put on foundations um, with your undertone and everything, it reacts to different people. Like you can always see someone wearing the same shade, but it'll react differently on each person that you see it on as with um, custom mixing foundations as well. So I do encourage you guys to support her. It's amazing. Her products are amazing. I've also tried um, her Evolution Powder, which I do have on my face now. You see how satin and cute I look. So yes, I am a fan of Denise Myrick. She continuously comes through. She's very consistent on her delivery. She's very consistent on her products, her pigments, the um, 
the finish i like that and i like to continue to see people use their own product even if you use other people's stuff i like to see you use your own stuff because that means that you believe in it and that means that you stand behind it so um the next time that y'all see me talk about the nisa myricks foundation on myself it will be a wear test to tell you how long it was and how it broke down over time like if it was super shiny throughout the day or if it stayed the way that it was or whatever but today since i ain't going nowhere i'm chilling in the house making this tutorial for y'all this is best that y'all gonna get Ting. so yes um so far i really really do like it and i'll probably be mixing it a lot differently as well because the first time i sampled it i got it right and then this time i kind of got it right but not spot on so i'm gonna show y'all how it goes the next time around anyways i just said it like 50 times so i want you guys to be encouraged this week focus on yourself and remember it's you that makes things beautiful